Part 1 Describing a Location Hello, I'm calling about an ad in the paper about a house for rent. Can you tell me about the house? Does it have two bathrooms? What is the bedroom like? I see. Yes, I would like to take a look at it. When could I come over? Yes, that's fine. See you then at five o'clock. Thanks. Oh, hi. I'm just trying to find a place to rent. I just called up about this house. It sounds quite good. Do you live in a house, an apartment, or a condo? How many rooms does your home have? Do you have a kitchen? Today we will talk about houses, rooms, and furniture. We will learn how to describe a house, the different rooms, and the furniture inside of it. Act 1 In this act, you will hear people speaking English naturally and fluently. Can you tell me about the house, please? Sure. It is quite small. There is a small living room and kitchen next to it. There are two bedrooms and one bathroom. Is the house furnished? A little. There is no furniture in the living room, but in the kitchen there is a refrigerator and a stove. Are there any beds in the bedrooms? In one bedroom there is a large bed, but none in the other. Is the house one story or two stories? It is a one story house. Act 2 Now we will slow things down. Our friends will speak clearly and slowly. Can you tell me about the house? Sure. There are two bedrooms, a bathroom, a kitchen, and a dining room. What are the bedrooms like? Well, there's a bed, a lamp, and a chest of drawers. Hmm, sounds good. In the bathroom, there's a toilet and a shower. Great. Would you like to see it? Can you tell me a little bit about the room? I would love to. It is a large room and it is partially furnished. Is there a bathroom too? Sure. In the bathroom, there is a large bathtub and a toilet. Are there any windows in the bedroom? Yes, there are two windows. There are also drapes. Is there any furniture in the bedroom? No, there is not any. Fine, when can I come to see it? What is the apartment like? Well, it is completely furnished. It has a living room, a large bathroom, a small kitchen, and a bedroom. What is inside the kitchen? The kitchen has a sink, refrigerator, a cabinet for your dishes, and a stove. Is there an oven inside the kitchen? No, it does not have an oven but it does have a microwave. I see. Tell me about the living room. 
The living room has a blue sofa, two large chairs, a coffee table, and a TV. Can you describe the place? There are three bedrooms, a computer room, a dining room, and a kitchen. Does the house have any bathrooms? Oh, yes, I forgot. It has a bathroom in each bedroom. Wow. Does this house have any furniture? There is some furniture in the computer room and the dining room. Does it have a computer? No, it doesn't. But it has TV, stereo, a desk, and a table. Tell me about it. It's a lovely old house. When you enter the house, you will see a living room. Is there any furniture in the living room? No, the house is unfurnished. Next to the living room is a kitchen. Then between the kitchen and living room is a stairway. Oh, so there are two floors. Yes, that's right. On the second floor, there is a bedroom. Across from it are a bathroom and a study. Is there a closet in the bedroom? Yes, there is. What's it like? It is quite nice. Near the door is the family room and kitchen. I see. Upstairs are the bedrooms? In front of the master bedroom are the stairs and a small bathroom. Does it have any windows? Yes. There are two windows in the master bedroom and one in the other bedroom. Great. Is there a lamp or closet? Yes. There is a closet in each bedroom and one near the door. Act 3. Let's review. Rooms in your house. Family room. Bedroom. Bathroom. Living room. Dining room. Kitchen. Parts of your house. Stairs. Upstairs. Second floor. Master bedroom. Closet. Window. Door. Prepositions. In. On. Next to, in front of, living room, sofa, chair, coffee table, stereo, bathroom, toilet, Shower, bathtub, towel rack, bedroom, bed, lamp, chest of drawers, 
table, computer, desk, kitchen, sink, refrigerator, stove, oven, microwave, There's a bed, lamp, and a chest of drawers. In the bathroom, there is a large bathtub and a toilet. In the bathroom, there's a toilet and a shower. No, there's not any. There are two bedrooms. Yes, there are two windows. There are also drapes. Is there any furniture in the bedroom? Is there a bathroom too? Are there any windows in the bedroom? It has a living room, a large bathroom, a small kitchen, and a bedroom. The kitchen has a sink, refrigerator, a cabinet for your dishes, and a stove. The living room has a blue sofa, two large chairs, a coffee table, and a TV. No, it does not have an oven, but it does have a microwave. Does the house have any bathrooms? Does this house have any furniture? Does it have a computer? Next to the living room is a kitchen. Then between the kitchen and living room is a stairway. Near the door is the family room and kitchen. In front of the master bedroom are the stairs and a small bathroom. Yes, there is a closet in each bedroom and one near the door. Grammar boxes. There is a bed, a lamp, and a chest of drawers. There is a toilet and a shower. There is a closet in each bedroom and one near the door. There is some furniture in the computer room and the dining room. There are two bedrooms, a bathroom, a kitchen, and a dining room. There are some tables and chairs in the living room. Is there a lamp or closet? Is there an oven inside the kitchen? Is there any furniture in the living room? Are there any windows in the bedroom? Are there two beds in the bedroom? Next to the living room is a kitchen. On the second floor, there is a bedroom. Near the door is the family room and kitchen. Between the kitchen and living room is a stairway.
In front of the master bedroom are the stairs and a small bedroom. Can you tell me about the house? Sure. Can you tell me a little bit about the room? I would love to. It is a large room and it is partially furnished. What is the apartment like? Well, it is completely furnished. Tell me about it. It's a lovely old house. What's it like? It is quite nice. Can you describe the place? There are three bedrooms, a computer room, what are the bedrooms like? What is inside the kitchen? Is there an oven inside the kitchen? No, it does not have an oven. Tell me about the living room. Is there any furniture in the living room? No, the house is unfurnished. Is there a closet in the bedroom? Yes, there is. Act 4. Let's practice. First, we'll watch a scene. Then, we'll watch it again. Then it will be your turn to speak. Tell me what the apartment is like. It is large and partially furnished. Is there a kitchen in it? Yes, but it is quite small. There is also a bathroom and a bedroom. Are there any windows in the bedroom? Sure, I think there are too. Is there any furniture in the bedroom? There is a bed, but that is all. Now it's your turn. When you see this icon, you can practice speaking. Tell me what the apartment is like. It is large and partially furnished. Is there a kitchen in it? Yes, but it is quite small. There is also a bathroom and a bedroom. Are there any windows in the bedroom? Sure, I think there are too. Is there any furniture in the bedroom? There is a bed, but that is all. What is in the bedroom? Mm, let's see. Ah, yes. There's a bed, a desk, a wardrobe. Does the rest of the house have any furniture? There isn't any in the bathroom, but the living room is furnished. Does the living room have a sofa? Sure, it has a sofa, three chairs, and a coffee table. Is there a TV in the living room? 
Mm. Sorry, there isn't any. What is in the bedroom? Mm, let's see. Ah, yes. There's a bed, a desk, a wardrobe. Does the rest of the house have any furniture? There isn't any in the bathroom. But the living room is furnished. Does the living room have a sofa? Sure. It has a sofa, three chairs, and a coffee table. Is there a TV in the living room? Hmm. Sorry, there isn't any. What is the house like? On the first floor, there is a kitchen. Is there a refrigerator in the kitchen? Yes, and next to the kitchen is a dining room. What is upstairs? We have two bedrooms and a bathroom. Is the bathroom in the master bedroom? No, it is across the hall from the master bedroom. What is the house like? On the first floor, there is a kitchen. Is there a refrigerator in the kitchen? Yes, and next to the kitchen is a dining room. What is upstairs? We have two bedrooms and a bathroom. Is the bathroom in the master bedroom? No, it is across the hall from the master bedroom. Part 2. Talking on the phone about directions. Sometimes we can use the telephone to ask for and to give directions. Let's watch and see how these people do it. If you get lost, you can just give me a call. Act 1 In this act, you will hear people speaking English naturally and fluently. Hi, I would like to come over to see the house you're renting. Oh yes, that would be wonderful. Where is it? It's close to Hawthorne Road. It is near the Interstate 8 Junction. Go down Hawthorne and just before you come to the junction you will see a pizza restaurant. We're behind the pizza restaurant. What's the house number? Oh yes, I almost forgot. It is 892 McNamara Drive. Great. See you about 7 p.m. then? Can we make it 8 p.m.? Sure. 8 is fine. Okay. Bye. Bye. It's close to Hawthorne Road. It is near the Interstate 8 Junction. Go down Hawthorne and just before you come to the junction you will see a pizza restaurant. We're behind the pizza restaurant. What's the house number? Oh yes, I almost forgot. It is 892 McNamara Drive. Act 2 Now we will slow things down. Our friends will speak clearly and slowly. Hello? Hello. May I speak to Mr. Marotti, please? This is him? Yes, I am calling about the house for rent. Oh, right. Well, it still is for rent. Would you like to see it? Sure. When can I come over to see it? 
Um, how about at 4 p.m. today? Is that all right? 4 p.m. today. That sounds good. See you then. Goodbye. Bye. Hello. I understand you are renting an apartment. Yes. Would it be okay if I come over to take a look at it? Sure. Do you know where it is? No. It is on Main Street. It is next to the library. There is also a bank and a restaurant nearby. Next to the library on Main Street. Great. I'll find it. See you. Bye. Bye. It is on Main Street. It is next to the library. There is also a bank and a restaurant nearby. Hello, Smith Residence. Martin Smith speaking. Yes, do you still have the apartment for rent, Mr. Smith? Yes. Are you interested in renting it? I might be, but I would like to know where it is. Yes, it is next to the bus stop on Patterson Road. Go over the bridge and past the church. It is on the left side of the church. Right, over the bridge and past the church. It's on the left of the church. That's right. The number is 823 Patterson Road. Sounds easy enough. I will come by at 12. Is that fine? No problem. Look forward to seeing you. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Yes, it is next to the bus stop on Patterson Road. Go over the bridge and past the church. It is on the left side of the church. Hello? Hello. May I speak to Mrs. Anderson, please? Speaking. Yes, Mrs. Anderson. I saw an ad in the paper for a house for sale. Yes. Would you want to come to see it? Yes, that would be nice. Where is the house? Do you know where Webster Boulevard is? Yes. Well, go along Webster Boulevard until you pass a school and a park. My house is across the street from the park. So it's opposite the park? Yes. It is also behind a large oak tree. Okay. I'll see you shortly then. Bye. Bye. Go along Webster Boulevard until you pass a school and a park. My house is across the street from the park. So it's opposite the park? Yes. It is also behind a large oak tree. Hello? Yes. Is this Kathy? Yes. Hi, Kathy. A friend gave me your number and told me you're selling a house. Yes, I am. Do you mind if I come over to see it? No, not at all. The house is at 932 B Street. Is it past the supermarket? No, don't pass the supermarket. It is on the right side of the drugstore. Oh, yes. I know where that is. Great. When will you come over? About 7.30 tomorrow evening. That is fine. See you then. Bye. Bye. The house is at 932 B Street. Is it past the supermarket? No, don't pass the supermarket. It is on the right side of the drugstore. Yes. I was wondering if you could give me some information about the condo for sale. Sure. It is a three-bedroom condo with a kitchen and a bathroom. 
sounds like what I'm looking for. Could I come to see it? Sure. It is located at 9233 Billings Road. Oh, where is that exactly? Um, right down past the supermarket. It is across the street from the playground. The playground is next to the church. Oh, yes. Is it past a bridge? Yes. Can you come today? Yes. How about in an hour? Good. See you. Bye. It is located at 9233 Billings Road. Oh, where is that exactly? Um, right down past the supermarket. It is across the street from the playground. The playground is next to the church. Oh, yes. Is it past a bridge? Yes. Act 3. Let's review. Landmarks. Library. Restaurant. Bank. Bus stop. Bridge, church, school, park, playground, drugstore, supermarket. It is on Main Street. It is next to the library. There is also a bank and a restaurant nearby. Next to the library on Main Street. Yes, it is next to the bus stop on Patterson Road. It is on the left side of the church. It's on the left of the church. My house is across the street from the park. It is across the street from the playground. It is also behind a large oak tree. Is it past the supermarket? Is it past a bridge? Grammar boxes. It is on Main Street. It is next to the library. It is on the left side of the church. It is on the right side of the drugstore. It is located at 9233 Billings Road. It is also behind a large oak tree. My house is across the street from the park. The house is at 932B Street. Go along Webster Boulevard until you pass a school and a park. Go over the bridge and past the church. Ride down past the supermarket. Don't pass the supermarket.
Hello. May I speak to Mr. Marotti, please? This is him. Hello, Smith Residence. Martin Smith speaking. Hello. May I speak to Mrs. Anderson, please? Speaking. Yes. Is this Kathy? I am calling about the house for rent. I understand you are renting an apartment. Yes, do you still have the apartment for rent, Mr. Smith? Yes, I was wondering if you could give me some information about the condo for sale. Would you like to see it? Sure. When can I come over to see it? Would it be okay if I come over to take a look at it? Sure. Do you know where it is? Are you interested in renting it? I might be, but I would like to know where it is. Would you want to come to see it? Yes, that would be nice. Where is the house? Do you mind if I come over to see it? No, not at all. The house is at 932 B Street. Could I come to see it? Sure. It is located at 9233 Billings Road. How about at 4 p.m. today? Is that all right? 4 p.m. today. That sounds good. I will come by at 12. Is that fine? No problem. When will you come over? About 7.30 tomorrow evening. Can you come today? Yes. How about in an hour? See you then. Goodbye. See you. Bye. Look forward to seeing you. Thanks. Bye. Okay. I'll see you shortly then. Bye. Act 4. Let's practice. First, we'll watch a scene. Then, we'll watch it again. Then it will be your turn to speak. Hello, Jeffrey speaking. Hi, are you renting a condo? Yes, we sure are. Could I come by and see it? Great. Do you know how to get here? No. It is on 9 and T Street. It's next to the bakery. The condo is called Seaview and it is room 892. 
That should be easy to find. Good. See you soon. Now it's your turn. When you see this icon, you can practice speaking. Hello, Jeffrey speaking. Hi, are you renting a condo? Yes, we sure are. Could I come by and see it? Great. Do you know how to get here? No. It is on Nine and T Street. It's next to the bakery. The condo is called Sea View, and it is room eight nine two. That should be easy to find. Good. See you soon. Hi. Could I speak with Chris, please? Speaking. How can I help you? I heard you are renting out a room in your house. Yes. Would you like to come and see it? Yes, I would. How do I get to your house? Um. Where are you now? I am at the stadium. Right. Go down Grant Avenue. Turn left on Washington Road. It's three one two Washington Road on the right side of the florist. Bye. See you shortly. Bye. Bye. Go down Grant Avenue. Turn left on Washington Road. It's three one two Washington Road on the right side of the florist. Hi. Could I speak with Chris, please? Speaking. How can I help you? I heard you are renting out a room in your house. Yes. Would you like to come and see it? Yes, I would. How do I get to your house? Um. Where are you now? I am at the stadium. Right. Go down Grant Avenue. Turn left on Washington Road. It's three one two Washington Road on the right side of the florist. Bye. See you shortly. Bye. Bye. Hi. Is this Jennifer? Yes, it is. I spoke to you yesterday about your house for sale, and I would like to come over tomorrow to see it. Is that okay? Great. I live on to Agnai West Braxton Street. How do I get there? Do you know the Big Bear Supermarket? Yes, I know it. I live across the street from the supermarket. That should be easy to find. See you tomorrow. Bye. Hi, is this Jennifer? Yes, it is. I spoke to you yesterday about your house for sale, and I would like to come over tomorrow to see it. Is that okay? Great. I live on to Agnai West Braxton Street. How do I get there? Do you know the Big Bear Supermarket? Yes, I know it. I live across the street from the supermarket. That should be easy to find. See you tomorrow. Bye. The summary. 
Okay, we are almost done. Let's review what we've just learned. In the beginning of the episode, we learned there is and there are. When do we use there is and there are? We use there is when the subject is singular and we use there are when the subject is plural. Do you remember the question forms? How do we make there is into a question? That's right. We reverse the subject and the verb is. Then we looked at prepositions of location. Do you remember any of them? Here are a few. Next to, in front of, and across. We then learn some phrases asking about a room or a house. Here are some of them. Can you tell me about the house? Can you describe the place? What is the room like? What's it like? And we also learn some useful telephone expressions. Here are some of them. Hello. May I speak to Mr. Johnson, please? This is him. Yes, I'm calling about the... Goodbye. We also learned some more prepositions of location. Do you remember any? It is next to the... It is on the left side of the... It is located at the... There is also a bank nearby. In this section, we also looked at how to give directions using both positive and negative imperatives. Go along until you pass a... Don't pass the... Well, that's all for today. You're doing quite well with your English studies. Don't forget to practice. Just go up to someone and start speaking. You don't have to be shy. Okay, see you again next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.